have gone maybe a little bit too far. Um, but that's with that particular output set in. So we're going to try uh, another image that I've got and I want to try this time in grayscale. So I'll just make that alteration and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is our next subject. Um, still a lion, uh, but this time, you know, it's a very much lighter picture. And we'll alter the size of it to begin with. So we'll come up here and we want this to be, let me see, width 75. Enter. Okay, so hover over it, right click, adjust image, <coughs> so this time I think we'll use the same, we'll use the same uh, output of Jarvis, let's um, I think that's a bit sharper. I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, 500. I've dropped this down to 500 because it is slightly a lower resolution uh, picture, but you probably wouldn't want to go any lower than this. Um, Let's bring the whites up a little bit more. I'm going to go with that. Now I chose this picture because this side of the image is very light and this side is very dark and I'm interested to see what the laser is going to do between, you know, what it's going to lay down between this side and this side in Jarvis. Uh, and then I'm going to alter it to grayscale. So I'm going to accept that. <clears throat> I come up here, and I think I'm going to alter this to judging by the last picture. And the last result, I'm going to take this up to 9. Um, 9 and 2, I think. Blowing off. Okay. Everything else I'm going to leave the same. Leave it as Jarvis. Next one I'll do is I'll do grayscale just to see what the difference is or is going to be. Okay, so I'll send this to the laser and we will run this one. Okay, so this time the file is a grayscale image and it's 10 times the amount of information in this picture. I'm interested to see what the laser is going to make of it, so here we go.
image because it's an even colour left to right. It, however, it does go a little darker as it goes to the top of the picture. But I'm, I chose this picture because it is more even left to right. Um, and I've just changed it to Jarvis and it's 500 uh, DPI. So we'll just uh, alter the contrast a little. So I haven't altered this picture too much. I've just made the blacks a little blacker and the whites a little whiter uh, as I would normally do and let's see how it turns out. So we're going to OK that. 10, 1, 300. We've got 9, 1, 300. Uh, I find 300 or 12 inches per second um, probably about the best. Okay. So now we'll transfer that into the laser and see how we go. Okay, here we go. So after that bit of experimentation, these are the, these are uh, results. Uh, first, second, third, fourth uh, run that we did, and the last run. So bearing in mind this has been engraved into MDF. So when you engrave into MDF. Um, it does come out darker than normal because of the, the resins in the material but I use MDF because it is an even pattern of material uh, right throughout and what I can understand with this particular lens and this uh, 100 watt thunder laser is that you need the highest quality picture of photograph available and it needs to be for best output um, an even color distribution uh, across it uh, like this one here uh, dark on one side light on the other even though I adjusted the gamma and the contrast it doesn't look right uh, I did it in grayscale to, just to see if it made any difference at all and it sort of comes out, out of focus really these first two that we tried uh, this one's probably just that little bit too dark this one's probably just that little bit too light and this one I set in between those two settings and it's 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 quite reasonable actually um, obviously the, da the it's darker in the top than anywhere else 
um, that's unavoidable but generally it's not a bad reproduction in MDF so in the next video we are going to delve into engraving into real wood uh, because it does come out slightly better on real wood uh, however if you if you do it into oak or something like that you get about the same effect uh, it does come out darker in oak uh, I think I've got some here and um, we'll, we'll put some in and I'll, I'll show you the difference um, but I've got some uh, let me see pine pine's pretty good uh, maple is probably the big, the best material to do uh, an engraving in and I have some I think it's plywood with maple veneer on it um, and we'll give that a try um, uh, lots of other wood here as well um, so that'll be on the next video so don't forget like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel because it's patrons behind the channel that keep it all going. So until the next video, thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.